I'm still pinching myself over that one. You know, it's, uh, it's good to be last. It would have been wonderful to be first. And, and if I had to hold up, um, you know, a, a few people or a few missions that really stick out in my mind, um, you know, for the space shuttle, I, gosh, SDS-1 was just incredible. You know, to, to know here's this vehicle we've never really test flown in the vertical position before with its rocket engines. And, and we're not going to do it. We're going to put two people on it and, and we're going to send it into space. It's historically significant and it's the end of the program. Uh, but there's, um, we've learned a lot of lessons throughout the 30 years that we've flown it and the space shuttle is a much safer vehicle now and we don't take those dramatic risks like we did with STS-1. So, it, like I said, historically significant because it's the last, but I don't consider it to be, you know, the dramatic moment from a personal achievement standpoint or, uh, you know, a, any technical achievement like STS-1 really was. Well, I don't think there was really a, a moment. I mean, I, I like a lot of people my age, you know, I watched, uh, I watched the men walk on the moon when I was just a youngster, you know, eight, nine, ten years old. And uh, I, I remember being enthralled by it. I would draw little pictures of the rocket and, and uh, it, it was amazing to me. Now, I don't think my interest necessarily stayed at that level, but uh, as I reached high school, I realized that I. I'd like to fly, and, and the Navy always intrigued me. So I, I went into the Navy, learned to fly, became a carrier pilot, and then learned that a lot of the early astronauts were, were Navy and Air Force test pilots, tried to go to test pilot school, and things just started to flow in a direction that uh, the next natural step was to apply to, to be an astronaut. Well, there was a theme to the 126 mission. You know, of course, we had, uh, in the MPLM, we had, um, we had uh, living stations, sleep stations. Uh, we had uh, we had a kitchen. We had uh, uh, so we had a bedroom. We had a kitchen. We had a bathroom. We had a gym. I mean, it was really amazing if you looked at it. We had the space-based version of the American dream. It was great to be a part of that. It was great to turn the space station from, you know, the modular tube-like structure into a home that people can can live in for, you know, it'll be 15 years by the time the space station program runs out in 2020. And, it was good to be a part of that. Yeah, plus we, uh, we did a, a lot of what we think was great work on restoring the, the solar alpha joint over on the right side, which had uh, kind of ground to a halt. Uh, we got that thing up and running. So it was very rewarding after that flight. It was kind of one of those gee whiz moments in space flight, I, I, I kind of call them now, but it, you know, of course I hadn't been in space at the time. And uh, I thought to myself, wow, I'm really here flying the shuttle simulator. I mean, it was a, it was a, just a wild moment for me as a pilot. You know, pilots always aspire to fly the newest, greatest thing out there. And it was my first chance to fly a real shuttle approach. I was just in heaven. It was, it was spectacular. Yeah. So I remember it well. Uh, boy, I'll tell you, you know, I, I what I do remember uh, a moment from that was, um, you know, you fly to a position that's a, a beam the runway. It's 28,000 feet. And I looked down and I thought, there is absolutely no way we can possibly land on that runway right there. And, uh, you know, of course, it got proved to me about a thousand times since that it's entirely possible. But it's a, it is a largely unnatural act that we've just gotten used to over time. For me, it was always something that was impossible. You know, you just didn't even ask to do something like that because, you know, guys like you don't do things like this. Um, that's a message I try to take out there, especially to youngsters who, uh, you know, who, who maybe aspire to do great things, but perhaps are, are unwilling or unable to take that initial step is, uh, you know, don't sell yourself short. Get out there and, and, uh, and you know, I made it. You can make it. I was just an average dude growing up.